So for my 383 build, I'll be going with a set of eBay heads, but these heads aren't off eBay. They were actually off Amazon and they were about $400 for a pair. And they were actually made, uh, well, these sold by DNA Motoring. And there, there's the part number. Bought them off Amazon. I'll be unboxing them and showing you guys how they look, uh, what what type of machining needs to be done. So yeah. They come in this yellow bag. Man, these weigh nothing. These are pretty light compared to the iron uh, heads I had. Those were almost impossible to carry. These. According to the to the uh, shipping label, they weigh around uh, according to the shipping label, they weigh around seven pounds. Which I mean, I'm not sure how true that is. But these are really easy to carry by one hand compared to the iron iron heads I had. So here they are. Whew. All right. So people claim that these are a copy of the Dart Pro Ones which I, I looked up the Dart Pro ones and Dart does make a 64. This is a six, uh, this is a, uh, it claims to be 68 uh, CC chamber. But pe if people are saying that these are a copy of the Darts, the Darts had a 64, a 49 and a 72 chamber. So I'm, I'm assuming these are 64 CC chambers, not 68. But people are claiming that these are exact copies of the uh, Pro Ones, and these are the same that the AFR uses for the Ascast Enforcers. I mean, I have no idea how true that is, but from the pictures I've seen of the Pro One, these do look exactly the same. So these. Rocker studs are 716. As you can see, that's the exhaust stud. And that's the intake stud. And the intake stud does go into the intake runner. There we go. The intake stud, whoops. The intake stud does go into the intake runner, so you're gonna have to put some sealant on the threads for all the intake uh, intake rocker studs. The exhaust the exhaust studs you don't gotta worry since they don't go into anything. So these heads also have they're already drilled for the center center bolt uh, valve covers. So if you want to use a center bolt or you can use the the outer bolt. Uh, you can use whichever one you want. So since these are ass cast, the the runners and the in the chambers are all going to be, uh, you know, ass cast. They're not going to be ported or clean looking. As you can see, that's the exhaust.
So I know that's how they look on all of them. So I did notice that there's a kind of like I think core shift happened, but you can you can catch your fingernail on that. So if you're gonna have to, if you're gonna get these ported, you're gonna have to get those straightened out. It's also on the intake. Valve guides. Pretty sure these are standard 11, 32, 30 seconds uh, valve guides. I don't have any valves. I don't have anything for this head yet, so I can't really test it. I did test out the uh, rocker studs in the R716. That's really all I can test. I know these are super light. They are still kind of awkward to move around with one hand. So those are the intakes. So you can see, that's cast. They're not smooth at all. But you can see this line, this ridge right here. They're on all of them. See, see. So we're going to get these ported. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they'll be fine, you know, for a street, for a street or a weekend driver. But if you're going to be using these for like drag or whatever, you might as well get these uh, ported or at least just cleaned up. I don't know much about it, but that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, just having them just cleaned out. Chambers. You can see. I have not had these CC'd yet, so I'm not sure these are 64, 68, or you know whatever. You can see how rough these are. But these are a 2.02 intake and a 1.6 exhaust. So far the deck finish looks good except for what I notice is here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it goes you can definitely see that line right there. When you move your finger across it, you can somewhat feel a little lip. Not sure why that ha that's there. But up here, you don't, it's moved out. Well, you most likely will have to have these surfaced as well. Which is what I plan on doing as well. I don't know nothing about the seat since I don't have any valves to test. I believe that these take plus 0.1 valves because the darts also take a plus 0.1 valve and these are allegedly copies of it. A scratch right there. I don't think that matters. Yeah, so far, I mean, it looks good. I don't see any, anything bad about these. So, you know, I'm going to be showing the other head. Oh, yeah, these uh, intake bolts go into the oil. So, just make sure. Let's just make sure the all of them except for the corner ones. Those, those go into the, the, those don't go into nothing, so you don't got to seal the and once you just gotta worry about the those the four inner ones and 
I'm not sure what type of intake gasket this fits. But I'm gonna be showing the the other one. Let's see if there's anything wrong with that. So here's the other head. Packaged exactly the same as the other one. These look exactly the same. So you see the intakes have that lip. I'm not sure from what. I'm assuming it's from core shift or however this was casted. Intake rocker stud to go into the intake. Same as the last one. Exhaust, basically the same. So this is what I noticed on this side. The scratch right here. And then this. I have no idea what happened here. It kind of looks like someone got sandpaper or something to sand something down right there. I have no idea how how that will affect the ceiling. It's also this. My finger catches on that. Also these scratches. So the same thing as the other head, where it's just this thing right here, like the machine came back and it just stopped. We should just have these heads re resurfaced again, just so everything can be consistent. But the chambers. It's the same. I mean, overall, for $400, this is a good, a good purchase for $400. Because AFR wants 400 for just one bear, and these are 400 for a pair. But even though they're bear, you know, you can put whatever valves you want, whatever springs you want, whatever uh, guides, whatever seals. Also, the intake has this lip right here. So that might um, cause trouble with an intake gasket or an intake itself. It might just be hitting that lip. So you might have to do some grinding on that. But overall, pretty good. I'll be leaving a uh, link down in the description if you're interested. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. So yeah, that's it for so far. Uh, when I get when I get the valves and the stent, um, when I, when I get the valves and springs, I'll I'll be updating. I'll post a video. Uh, if I need to do any machining to the head, I'll post a video on that as well. Let you guys know everything that needs to be done to this head to be able to run. But hopefully, hopefully these heads turn out to be good and not, uh, hopefully I don't have to spend another 800 on just machining and whatever.
but yeah. So that does it for today. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. If you wanna, if you want me to measure anything, I'll try my best. But yeah, see ya.